Welcome back to Kathy Wang. I just finished talking to this uh, bomb outside. Apparently his name is Goober. Yep, it's full of trash. Figure that. What a shot. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Okay. Search that. Head on inside. No thanks. Women's magazines make my brain melt. Ah. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't uh, have a ghostly companion to uh, look up stuff for us in this game. So, in that way, it's different from uh, Blackwell games. A the... calendar from 1991. Hm, guess they really liked that year. Guess so. Uh... I can't read it from here. Oh. Uh, well, damn. I can't read. Well, yeah. Excuse me, nurse? Nurse. Hey, nurse! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Pay you much, huh? No yeah. shit. What do you want? <laughs> I'm here to see Charles Wade. Never heard of him. Anything else? Wow. Oh shit. I know he's here. Listen, it's okay. I'm a friend of the family. No, you're not, and I said he's not here. Oh boy. How are we gonna get in to see him? What a bitch. I need to get rid of her somehow. Yes, you do. Yeah. Well, Smoking the... allowed. Guess this place is a bit behind on healthcare regulations. Yes, it is. I've got an idea. I prefer to smoke. Oh, damn. I don't see how. Damn. I don't want to. Damn. I don't want. Damn. How are we gonna get rid of her? We gotta get rid of this bitch somehow. Prefer to damn it. How are we gonna get rid of her? I wish, but she'd just call security on me. Damn it. Hmm. Time for a smoke break, don't you think? What? You smoke? No way. Okay, never mind. How are we gonna get rid of this bitch? How are we gonna get rid of her? Shit. Uncomfortable hard. Smoking a lot. Was expecting plastic. Mm. How are we gonna get rid of her? Rows and columns of file. Okay. Pretty sure she. Well, damn it. How are we gonna get rid of her? Okay, we gotta figure out how to get rid of this nurse. I don't know what to do. I thought maybe we could, like, you know, set fire to the, or something, so we can, you know, distract her or something, but that's not gonna work. I think so it's not. What if the bomb can help us? I mean, he helped us before. Hey. Oh, hi. So. There we go. You? Yeah. The best. The very best. You know, that nurse in there, she said she loved uh, those movies. <laughs> and that she always wished you'd give her a live performance. <laughs> I knew it. She always gave me these strange looks. Yeah. I thought it was contempt, but her face must just be cramping up from shyness. Exactly. Yeah, that's definitely it. Yeah, she's definitely. She'd love to see yeah, it. definitely. I'm sure. I'm going to have to oblige. Which movie do you think she'd like the best? Hmm. Damn. That's a good question. I don't really know. Uh. <laughs> Natural bald killers would be the obvious choice. Oh, yeah. Bald move. <laughs> this would be a good one. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it?
been such a good friend. I can't thank you enough for making me whole again. Turn this scalp into a breathtaking golden carpet, such as the world has never seen. Okay, no doctor, point. I wouldn't even I'm know what room to go. Now. Oh, damn. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Rose and Well, it wasn't good, is it? Thank you, thank you. You've been a great Pretty sure audience. she... Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of her. So. That wasn't really a. Yeah, how are we gonna intervene? Oh, electrifying. Oh. Does that mean we need to shock her? Hey. Hey. Shut Prop Oh, I'm. I mean, we can try to shock her while, while she's doing that, but I don't know if that makes any difference. I wish, but she... It can't be! Hold me! Good idea, but it would Thank you, thank you! You've been a great audience! Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, uh, well, okay, so the symptoms... Okay, what do we need to do? Let's try that again with it. Hey. Oh, I, I mean, would it be the I same? I have a few more questions. Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. All right. Hey. Sure. Definitely. I'm feeling. All right, let's try it again. Let's try it with this movie. We gotta figure out how to get rid of the nurse so we can search the computer. Oh, Jenny, everything is forgiven. And carrots. Good idea, I'm just but so full it wouldn't match your Damn it. love that I think I'm about to burst. Damn. Jenny, where did you go? Oh, I don't feel so good. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. Okay, maybe when he says, uh, I don't feel so good. Maybe when he says, I don't feel so good, maybe we should try that. Yeah. We should try using the stun guy when he says he didn't feel good. Let's try that. Hey. Oh, hi. Hey. Sure. Let's try Jacob's bladder Definitely. again. I'm All right, let's try it again. He says he's not feeling good. All right. Oh, Jenny, everything is forgiven. You and me were like peas and carrots. I'm just so full of your love that I think I'm about to burst. Oh, I don't feel so good. Good idea. Thank you, thank you. Damn it. You've got a great audience. <sighs> okay. I'm really confused now. What the hell am I supposed to do here? I know I'm supposed to distract her somehow so that she can go up, she can look at the computer. And I thought maybe we were supposed to short, you know, electrocute that bitch while she's. Hey, in the doofus. Oh, hi. Or maybe electrocute him while she's. Hey, sure. How about business? All right, let's try that one. Mm. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I can't believe you guys did all this for me. You know why? Uh, what's the smell? Bacon? Oh, Bobby, my head hurts. I'm seizing. There we go. Nurse, he's seizing. There we go. Oh shit. That's what we need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I worked. I made it. Man, I feel like a total jackass. I'll have to make it up to the poor guy later. Yeah, you will. Let's let's search the computer. And let's find out what room he's in. <laughs> oh, great. Username and password. How are we gonna... Crap. Username and password. I don't know what your username and password is. Damn it. Well, that's not gonna help any. But, uh... Employee of the month, Carlita Mendez. <laughs> what a joke. It's that obnoxious nurse. Okay. Rose and... Oh, we need to find out what her password is. Shit. Because a lot of good that does is we can't figure out what her Employee password is. Employee of... Employee... Damn it. 
see Mendes. Damn it. Hmm. I wonder. Do we still have that disc? It's labeled. Ah. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, it does. I bet it works. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Ah, yes. C. Mendez. Password. Otor Gator. What? C. Mendez. Okay, user C. Mendez. Password. Otor Gator. Hope we don't have to type them. Damn it! Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna have to write this shit down, aren't I? Great. Hate this. Can't y'all make it easy? See Mendez part, that's cool. I just need to type in that freaking other thing. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Ha <laughs> ha! Worked. Room 6B. Charles Way, date of birth, 8-14-24, death not applicable, 8 24 9 at birth, Dr. A. Friedman, St. Francis Medical Center, KC. Patients undergone successful invasive heart surgery and stress facility at his own request. His prognosis looks good. He's like to make a full recovery in 6 to 8 weeks. Okay, cool. Found the room. Well, that was good. Well, let's go. We found the room. 6B. Let's go. <laughs> that was good. It's all right, Claude. Understood, sir. Hmm. So, you managed to find me. Yes. I did. Well, let's get this over with then. How do you want your pictures? Shall I get some tubes to fill my face with? Will that suffice for your front page? I'm no journalist. Well, not yet anyway. Ah, she's but a cub. So, you're hoping for your big break? Well, actually, no. Surely this must be worth an internship at one of the big papers. Do you want me to call Thompson at the Times and get it over with? I still play golf with him every once in a while. That's not what this is about. It's personal. Sounds serious. Perhaps I should ask Claude to produce his gun. No. You know, Charles, the person most likely to be harmed by a gun tends to be its owner. Very true. That's something the Japs who captured me learned the hard way. Did my grandfather bail you out then too, or was that one of the few times where he didn't save your sorry ass? Whoa. Hold on there. Explain yourself. You're willing to listen to something other than your own voice? I'm stunned. <sighs> I'm Kathy Rain. Joseph was my grandfather. Now I remember. 
You were at the funeral. I was. You were late. I needed my morning smoke. Besides, it's not like Grandpa was going anywhere. <laughs> oh, just look at her, Claude. She's absolutely fearless. That's Joseph's blood running through her veins. <laughs> she certainly has a smart mouth, sir. I must say, you have me intrigued, Kathy. What can this old man help you with? Well... Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? I wish I did, Kathy. You must know I did everything in my power to help. How do you think Mary Elizabeth could afford all that expensive treatment? MRIs, neurologists, say what you will about Joseph. But he was never rich. Strange. Grandma never mentioned that to me. She's just too proud. At first she refused. She was convinced that I had an agenda, that there were strings attached. And were there? Now don't be silly. Despite all that had happened, I still loved Joseph dearly. I wanted to help. People from places like this have a deeply rooted mistrust in the rich, passed on for generations. Hmm. In her eyes, I had become one of them. So that's all you know about the whole affair? Are you implying that there's more to know? I left the diagnosis to the professionals. Mrs. Rain accepted the health care, but asked me to stay out of everything else. So I did. I see. What can you tell me about your friendship with Grandpa? Joseph was the best friend I ever had. We grew up together. Married our high school sweethearts together. Went to war together. I can't even begin to count the number of times he's saved my life. I repaid the favor once or twice. But he came up ahead, no doubt. So, when did you two lose touch? I heard that something happened between you and him. What was it? <sighs> the truth is, Brian Rain happened. Who's Brian Rain? Sharon Evans happened. Who are they? My parents? Oh. Yes. They ruined everything with their vile, destructive behavior. I couldn't have that around my daughter or my newborn grandson. Joseph was naive. He believed that anyone could be helped. That anyone could be reasonable. Uh, I wonder what this, what her parents chance. did. He was just too good. Bless him. He should have been harder on Brian, more strict. I wouldn't mind teaching my old man some manners myself, wherever he is. Yes, of course. You must understand this better than anyone. Okay, what happened People to her? People like your father simply cannot grasp how far their bad influence spreads. So our family started drifting apart. Eventually, my company grew I'm very interested to find out what happened town. to Kathy's parents. And moved on. And what they did Not to her. long after that, your grandfather ended up in that wheelchair. That marked the end of our friendship. For obvious reasons. Okay. I need to know about Lily Myers. You bought a number of paintings by Lily Myers. Why? I'm known to dabble in art from time to time. Martha, my wife at the time, was enamored with the paintings. I believe she first saw them at the high school, which the Myers girl had taken. Okay, so it might be your Anyway, wife. after the poor girl killed herself, I bought the painting speculatively. When a young artist with any talent to speak of commits suicide, it can be a wet dream of certain connoisseurs. Yeah, but the wife might Shortly have Shortly after procuring the art, I had it valued by an expert who determined that the value was three times the amount I bought it for. Hmm. Today, I'm sure I would have made my money back tenfold or more if it wasn't for the art theft. Art theft? What art theft? There was a burglary at the mansion I used to own here in town. Hmm. It was all over the local news at the time. Well, shit. Eloquently put. <laughs> yeah, so someone stole her art from his home. Interesting. Do you recognize the call sign, Cocky? Would be strange if I didn't, since I was the one who coined ah. it. Ah. It belongs to a fellow named Jimmy Cochran. He was a coward. Oh, but it wasn't. It was the nickname is somewhat of a bad joke. Hmm. Perfect. Thanks. Sweet. More information we've discovered. Correct. And we're going to have to look him up. What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? 
hardly seem like any other church to me. But then again, I'm not their usual clientele. Weddings, baptisms, and funerals are just about what I can muster. And I always leave early. Hmm. Is there anything else we can tell? Tell me about Jimmy Cochran. Is he still alive? Yeah, that might be good. In a literal sense. He's been held in a mental institution oh, for years. Oh, why am I surprised? Let me guess. Since 81? Either 82 or 83. I'm fairly certain it was early 83. Mm. Do you remember the name of the institution? Something starting with an E. Emerson, Everett, or similar. Oh, Ingstrom? Ingstrom Psychiatric Hospital? Yes, that's the one. You know the place, Kathy. Uh, yeah. I do. My mother is in there. Sharon Evans? I had her committed about a year ago. Uh, I see. It must have taken a lot of courage to do that, Kathy. Mothers have a lot of power over us. More than most of us care to admit. I guess so. Do you know why Jimmy ended up in there? Some obsessive compulsive syndrome. He became fixated with circles. Circles, huh? And started hurting himself. Trying to scratch the circles out of his head. Interesting. Creepy. I wonder what set him off. I think I'll check the place out tomorrow. Too late to head back to the city now. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's show... Do you recognize this, Charles? Of course. Your grandfather, me, Jimmy Cochran. Taken shortly before we went to the war. You guys look like you just won the lottery or something. Indeed. We were mere children, with no concept of what we were getting into. Hmm. Okay. Anything else we can show? Do you know what this key opens? Yeah. You must be truly desperate if you ask random people a question like that. Well, I need to know that key, and no one's told me what that key does. <laughs> Yet. What do you see in this picture, Charles? Fireflies would be my best guess. They can grow terribly large around these parts. Hmm. Okay, we don't need to show them that picture then, because we already found it about the, the flower, so we don't need to know about that. I guess we're done here. We don't have that newspaper excerpt anymore. Uh, did we ask for everything? Can you tell me about the art theft? Well, somebody broke in. Stole the paintings and got out. Fairly clumsy job. Lots of broken windows. Hmm. The strangest thing was, was that I had a Monet. Yeah, that is strange. And two paintings by Picasso. Untouched. Yeah, that is strange. But every single painting by an unknown local artist, gone. Hmm. That can't be a coincidence. No, it can't. Agreed. Somebody wanted those paintings badly. Yes. I assume there was an investigation. Yes. Sheriff Truman came by with his deputy a few hours later, but they didn't have much luck. Okay. They found a few hairs, which turned out to be from Raffles, the family dog. Hmm. Some stunning police work right there. Oh, yeah. Indeed. There was a single witness, though, who said he could make out multiple burglars leaving the scene of the crime, but nothing more than that. Who was the witness? So, I take it the case was closed? Yes. I honestly didn't much one way or the other, given the fact that my most expensive pieces were safe and sound. I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff about the matter, if that's okay with you. Certainly. I'll call ahead and instruct him to give you everything you need. Oh, good. That'd be great. Thanks, Charles. Anytime. But I'm curious. What's your interest in the paintings? I've learned that my grandfather went to Sue and asked to see them, right before he had his injury. Is that so? Strange. Yes, it is rather strange. Okay, I guess we're done here, because I don't think there's anything else we can ask about. Yeah, let's see anything else to ask about. So, we're Thanks, done. Thanks, Charles. That's all I need for now. You're welcome, Kathy. Come back anytime. Cool. That means the, that stupid nurse won't bother us anymore. Yay. Get out of here. I think we're done here. For now. Is there anyone else we need to talk to? Is there anything else we need to do around here? I don't know, but I think we're going to leave this place for now and move on to other locations. Hmm. Hmm. So he helped out quite tremendously. I guess we leave here and uh, go on other places? 
Okay, so that place is still visible for us to go to. We could check out the church, I guess. Yeah, let's go there. See who we can talk to. Hello, Father. Greetings, my child. I'm glad you decided to come here. Well, actually... Yeah, but just so you know, I'm not here to join your church or anything. Exactly. Oh, I would never assume that. Right. Good. So, with that out of the way, I have some questions. Anything you need. I'm Isaac Price. Okay. Kathy. Kathy Rain, but I'm guessing you figured that out already. I did. Rumors spread quickly around here. So, how can I be of service? Well, uh... Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? It was the work of the devil, I'll say that much. Joseph was a kind man. He did not deserve such a fate. You heard my speech at the funeral, Kathy. I meant every word. He was a great man yeah. who did much good for this community. Why is it I don't trust did you? Did you know him personally? In a way. He and my father did charity work together. Joseph was around a lot when I was young. Mm. They collaborated on a few different projects for the homeless yeah. and for the troubled youth, among other things. So my grandfather was a member of the church? Yeah. I wouldn't say that, no. He was a friend of the church, but he wasn't a religious man. He believed only in philanthropy. Yeah. That being said, Joseph was the person who convinced me to become a priest. Really? Oh yes, I was a teenager back then. Full of rebellion. Every fiber of my being wanting to distance myself from my father. Your father? Joseph made me realize my sinful pride, and showed me how I should follow my heart, regardless of what others might think. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. I'm curious about this church, because this church doesn't seem like it's on the up and up. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but the fact that there's pictures and that the, this looks... I could, but I think I have more to gain from a subtle strategy. Right, good idea. I'll keep it to myself for now, until I know more about this church. Ah, uh, see, she's thinking the same thing I am. <laughs> does the name Lily Myers mean anything to you? It does. I was a substitute teacher in her high school for some time before I was ordained. Really? Did you know her personally? We weren't close. I only knew her as much as a teacher would know any student. Yeah. All right. So, how did she seem toward the end? For one, she started skipping school a lot. And when she did show up, she was absent-minded and moody. Interesting. She always looked depressed and hunched down like she had a whole world on her shoulders. Mm. Any idea of what caused this change? Not a clue. All I know is that when she returned from that last summer break, she was a whole different person. Very interesting. Okay. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? I don't recognize that name, no. Okay. Uh, let's just watch the show. Do you know anything about an art theft at the Wade Estate in the 80s? I have just a vague memory of reading about it in the paper. Well, just thought I'd ask. Care to tell me the history of the church? Yeah. I'd be happy to. The story is a fascinating one. This yeah. church was founded by my father, William T. Price, in the 70s. Back then, he made his living as a traveling salesman and was driving through this area yeah, as he but so many times before. According to Bond, this However, church has a very interesting history about my other weird things. Thoughts in his mind. He was angry, thinking of evil deeds, even considering swerving off the road into a rock and ending it all. Hmm. And suddenly, divine intervention. Three bright lights appeared. Yeah. The Father, the Son, uh -huh. and the Holy Ghost. Those the three sign of God. Uh -huh. This epiphany was the moment my father had been waiting for. Right. He sold all of his belongings and took me and my brother to live with him here in Conwell Springs. Uh -huh. Soon thereafter, he built this church and started gathering followers. Yeah, it sounds like a cult to me. As Father Bill. I take it that window up there resembles what he saw when he had this epiphany? Indeed. The stained glass window depicts the Holy Trinity as witnessed by my father. Oh, you mean like Do you know exactly when or where this event took place? Yeah. Why do you ask? Oh. oh just curious. Oh, yeah. It's We're captivating just totally story. Curious. It has nothing to well, do with my grandfather at all. It was in the spring of 1971. My father never told anyone where. Mm. Okay. So, what happened then? People flocked to Father Bill. He started mm -hmm. teaching, writing scripture. The yeah. church flourished and continued to grow all the way up until his sudden death. In 1983. Uh -huh. That's when I stepped in to take leadership of the church. Interesting. I take it that the church started declining after the death of Father Bill? Uh, yes. Naturally so. With such a magnetic personality, he was irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. But I assure you, the church is still very much thriving. Mm -hmm. Cute. Looks kind of empty to me. Yeah. It's not really our peak hours. Hmm. 
What's up with you handing out pamphlets at funerals then? Yeah. Like to reel people in at a weak moment? I'm going to assume you meant no disrespect, child. I'm simply providing divine guidance when it's needed the most. Uh huh. Yeah. I think there's something fishy about you, and I think there's something fishy about this church. I could. I'll keep it. Okay, not yet. Thank you. Father, do you know anything about this flower? No, my child. Nothing at all. Either now you're lying. Which I could. Do you recognize the man in this picture, Isaac? Only your grandfather. And that's just because I was given a similar picture for the service the other day. Hmm. Very interesting. So I think we're done here for now. And we're done for today. That's so. all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. Yeah, whatever. Let's save. LP7. Save. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more Kathy Rain. Stay tuned for future Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments, click that bell, and subscribe, and keep you updated in future videos that upload. And I will see you next time. And I guess next time we'll go over to the... Uh, Florist, I believe. But that will be next time. Bye bye.